This is Dr. Bertha Sewa Ayi, President of Ghana Physicians and Surgeons Foundation, giving a short expose which highlights one of our members, Dr. Na Tucho Dora Afia Akwete. She exemplifies GPS values of passion, impact, devoted to country, devoted to other people, responsible, and a citizen of Ghana and a citizen of the world. Dr. Dora Akwete is a family medicine specialist at Naval Hospital Camp Pendleton, Oceanside, California, and Upton Medical Care in Vista, California. She is the senior medical officer in charge of the 31 Area Branch Medical Clinic at Edson Range Camp Pendleton. Dr. Akwete comes from really humble beginnings. She was born on Christmas Day at La Accra, the last of 10 children, to parents who were successful at small business but had no formal education. They named her Gift, Dora, as she was considered an unexpected cherished gift from God. She had elementary school education at La Presbyterian Primary and Middle Schools. She proceeded to secondary school and sixth form education at Infantiman Girls Secondary School, now Infantiman Senior High School, Salt Pond, from 1973 to 1980. There, she was active in the debate club and sports club. She represented the school in long jump and short distances, running the 100 meters, 200 meters, and 400 meter relay in intercollegiate sports. She was appointed a dining hall prefect and her favorite food at school was jollof rice and chicken. Dora was impactful right from her youth. She was a member of the committee that conducted negotiations with the government of Ghana and medical school administration for early reopening of the medical school in 1983 during the early years of the Rollins era. She was also the treasurer of the Ghana Medical Students Association from 1985 to 1986. And in addition, a member of the women's basketball team at the University of Ghana, an athlete at heart. Dora, however, received what she's called the call to use medicine and strategic level prayer and intercession to open the hearts of communities and nations during her fifth year of medical school. This initiated a prison system ministry and also ministry at the Legion Village to disabled war veterans during her internship. After her house job at Kolebu Teaching Hospital, she proceeded to Mana Mission Clinic at Teshi, now Mana Mission, where she became the leading and pioneering medical officer from April 1989 to May 1993. This opened a major door of opportunity for her to receive residency training in family medicine from 93 to 96 in Tulsa, Oklahoma, at his in his image family practice residency program, Oral Roberts University. I became acquainted with Dr. Akwete during that time as a young medical student doing my extensive rotations at In His Image. I was impressed by the reputation she had as a great diagnostician. In fact, she had been able to diagnose a brain abscess just by evaluating a patient even without imaging studies. In that residency program, she won awards for excellence in behavioral medicine and became the first resident to serve as a chaplain for two consecutive years. In 1996, she was formally commissioned and ordained to go and preach the gospel of Christ through the practice of medicine. Today, Dora is board certified by the American Board of Family Practice and is a fellow of the American Academy of Family Physicians. She's also certified in international disaster response. After residency, she joined a private practice group of six at Joshua Medical Group in Buena Park, California. After two years in that capacity, she was recruited by the U.S. Navy to take care of active duty female patients in an outpatient clinic. This opened a new door of opportunity. She began to work in urgent care with the Cassidy Medical Group in Vista, California, and this provided her with the time funding and flexibility to pursue her most heartfelt international medical missions and leadership development. For all this work in the Navy, in May of 2021, she was given an award 
by the U.S. Navy for her clinical excellence and courageous service during the height of the COVID-19 pandemic. She was a member of the team that managed the COVID-19 tents at Camp Pendleton from June 2020 to June 2021. Dora lifts medical missions. Her heart bleeds for war victims and refugees. While at Mana Missions, she was servicing refugees who had come in from Liberia. She's taking care of people at the Tema Hubble. In 1994, she served in the refugee camps in Goma, Zaire with a team from U.S. In April 95, she responded to the Oklahoma City bombing. In 2001, Dara responded when 9-11 struck the U.S. and was present at Ground Zero. What more shall I say? She was a member of the International Health Services Foundation team to Afghanistan to help improve healthcare delivery after the war. What a life. She has led missions to Colombia, Chile, Central Asia, Indonesia, Dominican Republic, Kenya, and Zambia. A true global citizen. Dora combines medical missions with discipleship and leadership development. She has trained and equipped leaders and ministered to unreached groups in multiple continents. She's spoken at summits, conferences, and churches. Does she ever get tired? Dora continues to serve on many boards. She's on the board of Amani Medical Foundation. She's a member of Economic Summit Africa. She serves on the board of Window International Network and became vice chairwoman of the board. She worked closely with Dr. Miles Morrow and is a member of the International Third World Leaders Association, headquartered in Bahamas. She's an effective organizer and leader. She set up the 1987 UGMS, University of Ghana Medical School WhatsApp class, acted as its first administrator, and was one of the lead organizers of their successful 30th anniversary celebration in 2017, and renovated parts of Kolibu. She maintains communications with the Dean. She's always looking for ways to help. What an impactful life. Dora is an adoptive mother of nine children. She serves as an anchor for these children and provides emotional support and spiritual well-being for their daily upkeep and foots all the bills for their superb education. She donates generously to charities in Ghana and the USA. Fun fact, she's an excellent cook and hostess. She makes banku and okra stew, wachi and kilawili, smoked turkey soups, and her signature baked salmon filet with herbs. Mm. Her house is open for any person, any classmate. Yeah. Dora, you might be getting a lot of visits from people. She's widely traveled. She loves going to Joppa, Tel Aviv, Jerusalem, Cape Town, Victoria Falls, and hiking in the Yellow Crabble Hills in Ghana. She enjoys walking and chilling at beaches, teaching, watching movies, mentoring, and listening to music. GPSF would like to celebrate this honorable, impactful life in the person of Dr. Dora Na Chucho Efia Akwete. Dora, we salute you and we value you as a member.